Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today you can see my server is extremely popular. Now if I join you'll see that's not strictly true. Even if I hit tab you can see eight other players apart from myself. But if I were to try and teleport to one, it's going to say player not found and that is because they are not real. I am using the fake players plugin to make it look like I've got eight people on the server when in fact that is not the case. Now this is still handy for me in this case because I can use another plugin such as the report one to test that the plugin works by reporting one of these fake players and that will allow me to showcase that particular plugin. Now you can also use it to make your server look a bit more popular than it is and maybe get some other players to join or you can use it for anything else. Now in game there's not really much to show apart from the tab list and a couple of commands. So you can do fake players, create, and then we're gonna we're gonna create one called Dave. If we quickly leave and then rejoin, you can see it now says nine of 20. And if we look there, Dave has now joined the server. So that's pretty much everything in game. Let's head over to the config file and see how we can set this up. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel. You can see there is a single config.yml. If we jump into this, we can have a look at how to customize it. So up at the top by default, I've chosen there to be eight online players, but then of course we added the ninth guy. And then it's important that you select the default world. Uh, if you have a world that's not called world, you will need to change this, otherwise it will not work. And then advanced fake players, true, which is recommended. It can reuse the UUIDs, so the specific IDs of players skins we set that to true and you could see that in the tab list and then this was also set to true but i set it to false and this allows you to test plugins with those fake players and then down here you've got all the fake player names that it's going to choose from so you can add more to this list if you want and then of course you can change that number up there to whatever number you want uh, but maybe keep it something realistic so here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated for 1.8 to 1.19.4 I've been looking ages for a plugin like this and it's been requested many times by commenters and this is the best and most updated one at the moment unfortunately. Um, there is a newer version that's not on Spigot, it is on GitHub so if you click this link here and then you can go ahead and download this from GitHub. So make sure you've got the 2.8 snapshot, that is the most up to date and then you will also want to download TTA which is also on GitHub and then you can see here that these two pictures show you can have literally any number of players over a thousand which is crazy and then this is what we just looked at in the config file and then we have the two commands we use to add and remove players but that is the plugin and if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and I'll see you next time